And let me ask her about her own decisions, which are very ser- there are very serious allegations now being reported, that the Home Secretary was warned by officials and other ministers she was acting outside the law mm. by failing to provide alternative accommodation. Can she confirm that she turned down plans, contingency plans, that she was offered that would have reduced overcrowding, as the reports say? There are also legal obligations, including under the 1999 Act and the 2018 regulations. Can she confirm she was advised repeatedly that she was breaking the law by failing to agree to these plans? One of these meetings on Manston was on the 19th of October. Can she confirm she refused these proposals on that date? It was the same day that she broke sections 2.3 and sections 1.4 of the Ministerial Code. So can she confirm or can she tell us whether in fact she breached the Ministerial Code which provides for Ministers abiding by the law? Did she breach the Ministerial Code three times in a single day? And how is anyone supposed to have confidence in her as a Home Secretary with these serious issues? She referred in her statement to security checks. These are very important, but her statement is is undermined by her own disregard for security. Her letter today makes clear that the incident over which she resigned was not a one-off, and rather, and contrary to her previous claims to have reported the breach rapidly as soon as she realised, she instead had to be challenged challenged several times by one of her colleagues. She has also not answered the crucial questions about security breaches while she was Attorney General. Can she tell us whether she was involved in a leak to the Telegraph, reported in the Telegraph, on the 21st of January about information about Attorney General action on a case involving the Security Service? Has she sent any other government documents by WhatsApp, Telegram or other social media? And given that it's been less than a week since she was reappointed, and less than a fortnight since she was first forced to resign for breaching the ministerial code. And every day since her reappointment, there have been more stories about possible security or ministerial code breaches. How is anybody supposed to have confidence in her, given the serious responsibilities of the Home Secretary to stand up for our national security, for security standards and for public safety? The Prime Minister promised that this would be a government of integrity, of professionalism and of accountability. Isn't the Home Secretary letting everyone down and failing on all of these counts?